This is something that often people ask us. Do Ayurvedic medicines contain heavy metals? Can they cause toxicity? Today, let us try to explore the two. Talking about whether Ayurvedic medicines contain heavy metals, yes, approximately 30% of the Ayurvedic medicines are made with heavy metals and dressed as herbs and herbal mineral preparations. Now, two, do they cause toxicity? No, if made it the right traditional Ayurvedic way. Ayurvedically, heavy metals are never used as it is. Instead, they undergo processing or samskara as it's called Ayurvedically, wherein they are broken down into nanoparticles. So how is it done? It's done with the help of subjecting it to heat, very high temperatures over a prolonged period of processing. For example, Mercury, which has a specific gravity of 13.6. After undergoing Puddapaka, the specific gravity comes below zero because of which it doesn't accumulate on the liver or kidney or doesn't even give you any kind of complications which the organic form of mercury is capable of. Now, how do you test for the purity of heavy metal containing Ayurvedic medicines? There are four measures which we are instructed to use upon preparing the Ayurvedic medicines. The first one, Varidharatva. Varidharatva means you have to test for the presence of heavy metals that have not been broken down. So here what you do is you take a tumbler with some water in it, preferably a transparent vessel and on top of that sprinkle the medicine which is prepared from the heavy metal. If they do not sink, that is a primary indicator of the fact that the specific gravity is less than 1. Second one, Rekha Purnatva, which means when you take the medicine in between your thumb and index finger, if they stick in between your fingertips such that even after rubbing it off with the help of a cotton cloth, they remain within your fingerprints, they show that they have been converted into nanoparticles. The third one, Apunarabhavatva, which means once treated and prepared, they do not undergo further disintegration. As in, after obtaining the final product, if you subject it to further heat, qualitatively and quantitatively, it does not undergo any more transformation. Fourth and the most important one, Nirithamani, which means when it is heated along with silver in a crucible, there is no amount of heavy metal that is sticking on to silver. And that is because silver has the ability to absorb in the heavy metal. If the heavy metal containing medicine doesn't stick on to silver, that is the ultimate proof for the fact that the medicine that you are consuming does not contain inert form of heavy metal. If your medicine is capable of passing all these four tests and if the medicines are being prescribed by an experienced Ayurvedic doctor who is also an expert in handling conditions with the help of heavy metal preparations, then you are not going to get any kind of complication. But instead, if your doctor hasn't got a clue of where the medicines are being prepared, how they are being prepared and if they do or do not pass these four tests, then chances are that you might end up with complication. And it is also applicable with all kinds of OTC Ayurvedic herbs or herbal mineral preparations for the simple reason that many of them do not undergo these kind of tests. Now, the reason why I wanted to speak about this particular condition, I recently came across a YouTube video wherein the author says that she has become a victim of mercury toxicity upon using Ayurvedic medicines. But interestingly, she says that she has been consuming 18 tablets per day over a period of 24 months. Now, the real Ayurveda never asks you to continue with the same pill for such a prolonged period of time. That also indicates that either she has been consuming it as OTC, as over-the-counter, or the doctor who has prescribed it to her didn't have a clue how to treat her the real Ayurvedic way. Because as per Ayurveda, you have to undergo three stages of treatment for any kind of ailment and for each one of these stages, the medicines do keep changing. So before we start blaming the entire system of medicine, just because they contain heavy metal, we also need to understand the truth behind the scene. Hope that helps.